In recent years, all the rage in military aviation is about the forthcoming sixth generation of aircraft. But what exactly constitutes sixth generation? We will examine this question next on the Stealth Channel. As of the end of 2022, the definition of what sixth generation actually is, has not been officially determined or agreed upon by the nations of the world. Most just think it is the aircraft that will follow after and replace the current fifth generation of aircraft in the world's inventories. However, it is more than just that. What technologies will help define the sixth generation? In order to differentiate the sixth generation from its predecessor, we must first briefly look at what defined the previous fifth generation. The fifth generation was primarily characterized by stealth, supercruise, supermaneuverability, internal weapons carriage and networking with other elements of the battlefield. The fifth generation is typified by the Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor. The characteristics that appear to be common in many sixth-generation platforms currently in development include digital design, all-aspect stealth, next-generation stealth coatings, minimal or no appendages, ability to control multiple loyal wingman aircraft, and possibly directed energy weapons. Digital design greatly reduces the cost and risk of designing new aircraft. Designs can be built and tested inside of a computer before any physical materials are cut. Digital design also reduces the time it takes to bring a design from the drawing board to the runway. Digital design has allowed the U.S. Air Force to go from design to first flight of a technology demonstrator for its NGAD fighter program in just one year. All Aspect Stealth will be a cornerstone of the sixth generation of aircraft. All Aspect Stealth means the aircraft is stealthy from all angles. While some fifth-generation aircraft, such as the Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor, was designed from the start with all-aspect stealth, others were not. An example of the latter is the Sukhoi Su-57 Felon. Russia did not have the industrial capability to build an aircraft with all-aspect stealth when they were designing the Felon. Because of this they decided to concentrate on maximizing its stealth from the frontal aspect. Next-generation stealth coatings are designed to counter more modern air defense radars which operate in different bands than those that the fifth generation were designed to counter. These more modern radars were developed to counter the stealth of the fifth generation, hence the need for next-generation stealth coatings. Another reason for developing next-generation stealth coatings is for ease of maintenance. The stealth coatings of the American F-22 and F-35 fighters are notoriously time-consuming and expensive to maintain. The B-2 stealth bomber needs to be stored in climate-controlled hangars when deployed abroad in order to maintain its stealth. Not only will next-generation stealth coatings counter current radars, but they will greatly decrease the cost and time of maintenance. It's a win-win for operators of sixth-generation aircraft. Decreased appendages are common in most sixth-generation designs under development today. Their purpose is to reduce the aircraft's radar cross-section beyond those of current fifth-generation aircraft. Aircraft with minimal appendages will typically use tailorons, which are a combination of a tail and aileron and was pioneered by Northrop Grumman for their YF-23 advanced tactical fighter prototype. An example of this is used in the design of the Franco-German-Spanish next-generation fighter. Aircraft with no appendages will result in tailless designs, such as the American NGAD manned fighter. The ability for a single manned aircraft to control multiple semi-autonomous loyal wingman aircraft, usually five to six at a time, is a game-changer for sixth-generation aircraft. It allows the pilot of the manned aircraft to utilize its loyal wingman in supporting roles such as decoys, reconnaissance, electronic warfare and extra weapons platforms. This increases the survivability of both the manned aircraft and its pilot. There has been talk of incorporating directed energy weapons into sixth-generation aircraft, however, its cost and feasibility is yet to be determined. Besides cost, the main issue would be energy storage and onboard energy generation to power the weapon. We are of the opinion that this technology needs more time to mature and may not be ready to meet the current required fielding dates of sixth-generation aircraft. Because of this, sixth-generation aircraft may have the capacity and capability to carry directed energy weapons built into their designs initially but may have to wait to have them installed in later upgrades once the technology matures. 
I hope you enjoyed this analysis of what we consider to constitute a sixth generation aircraft. Do you agree with our assessment? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to help our channel grow. Be sure to check out our community tab for the latest stealth news and thanks for watching.